YouTubers, welcome again to my channel Tech World. Um, today I'm gonna be doing some tips on uh, the Tesla Model Y 2021. Um, some useful tips that I use a lot uh, to help me enjoy the full luxury of this vehicle. Um, this video is for mostly uh, folks that are new to Tesla and uh, recently purchased Tesla. Some of these I actually discovered as time went by and I watch a lot of YouTube videos um, to really gain understanding. Uh, you can actually read the manual but it's you know it will take you almost half a day just to go through all the manuals on the car to understand some of the features. So right now the car is running um, V10.2 uh, uh, which is a um, new software package I think it's 48.26 uh, that was released in December 25th 2020. Um, so you can actually see a nicer display here. Um, some people have mixed feelings. I love this display. I know a lot of folks out there are not too keen on this um, display. It's wider now. It gives you more of an instantaneous um, view of um, things like the trunk opening. Um, you can see the animation with trunk opening and closing, um, which is pretty awesome. Taking the window down, um, you can see the animation of the windows rolling down and the real windows closing which is pretty cool some other good features that i um uh, really like about the uh, tesla model y it, and uh, this was recently added but it's the dash cam view uh, so on the top um the top right you have these two uh small icons I'll bring you close as you can see so we have these two small icons here one with a red dot around it, uh, which is Sentry View. And the second one is the uh, Sentry uh, dash cam um, footage stored as well as viewer. So I'm just gonna go through what this is. Um, I did a couple uh, search on YouTube and um, it's not really updated to the new software package. So you'll find Sentry uh, more than Tesla, but um, this is this is the new feature that's upgraded on the new software package. A Tesla release. Um, they have solely integrated Sentry View. Uh, I remember when I first purchased this car, um, all I had was this uh, icon over here, uh, which just tells me Sentry View is on, and, it's, and if I um, press it again, it'll take it off. Um, so let's start with what is Sentry View. So if you go to the owner's um, dash here, and you can actually um, get a little detail on what Sentry mode is. So Sentry Mode is basically the, the car's uh, security system. Uh, it en enables you to um, monitor your car uh, when you are a park or when you're at work or um, basically any activity that happens around your car. Um, the car cameras, the eight integrated cameras will take uh, video footage of those activity and store it on a USB, um, which is something that you will have to provide. And also the car does have built-in um, memory, but uh, it's recommended that you get a USB to store those video footage. Um, so let's start with um, some of the features of Sentry Mode. So when I first bought the car, uh, all that you had was the on and off option and, and uh, the ability to exclude Sentry View when you're at home. So if you walk around the car, uh, you're not using up extra storage in USB, um, so it's not saving those footage. Uh, the dash cam uh, footage also, uh, it saves uh, clips on the horn, so it, whenever you honk your horn, those clips are actually saved on the USB. And you have the option to turn it on or off. Um, the park assist chime, um, but basically um, all uh, included here. Joe mode, uh, you can turn on security alarm, turn it off, pin to drive, all that stuff is there. But uh, specifically, um, what we want to look at today is keep that on, is the Sentry mode um, on the new software package. So one one thing I really absolutely love about this here, and I'll tell you what I really like and don't like. So one thing I really love about this um, Sentry dash Sentry mode um, and the dash cam footage or dash cam viewer is the ability to look at those clips directly while you're in the car. Um, so basically. It also, you know, gives a breakdown of all the activities that happen while the car was parked. So I'll open, I'll launch the Sentry Viewer. 
So basically when it's launched, um, it actually has the four cameras um, along the, um, the display here. Uh, these four cameras are the front camera, the rear camera, um, the left camera, and the right camera. And you can actually move those cameras. So let's say I want to just focus on the rear camera. I tap on the rear camera, the camera disappears here and it takes up the main uh, screen. And if I want to use the left camera, I tap on the left camera and it takes up the mirror screen. Um, the main display here. Uh, so what I really like, and before I, this was this is very new actually. Before you weren't able to see these footage on inside the car. Uh, you actually don't take the USB out, plug it into your phone or computer, and look at the clips. Now we have the true ability to look at those clips directly off the um, inside the car. And what I absolutely love is the ability to. Let's say you don't want to see um, the recent clips, you want to see um, old clips, you can actually look at the list view here and it has all the clips um, of all the different places that you travel, um, it's actually saved here. So um, I was in New York, I have some footage here of people that was um, standing in near my car, I was having a conversation, I actually saved those clips. So if you find it useful, um, you can actually save those clips and, and you know deal with it. Uh, your computer as well as shared with other folks but i do love that it keeps the archive of all the clips and this was the 7 19 2020 um and then it actually keeps all the clips of all the cameras um on the outside of the car which is pretty cool and i do like that feature so you can see me um talking the air with someone and then i have the other clips for the other cameras which is pretty cool um it does go as far back as the 7 19th uh, but that is really when the update was uh, released for the um, Sentry dashcam view, which is pretty cool. One thing I did like here is uh, I was actually parking my car um, and I was backing up and I could see all the cars around me while I was backing up and driving, which is pretty cool because uh, if anything happens, you have those clips to, you know, share to your, um, share to your uh, insurance company or whatever the case may be. As a safety mechanism so there you go that is the sentry uh, mode um, and now we have the full ability to look at dash cam view and this is not your typical dash cam view where you're monitoring in front of the car on those aftermarket dash cam um, um, cameras this is actually a monitoring the surrounding of the car so the front the back and the left and right um, aspects of the car which is excellent now what I don't like about it so I, I really like the test that gave us the option to look at these clips um, and to store these clips on USB but uh, it's not really useful let's say if you park your car at home or you park your car uh, and you're at actually um, and you're at let's say lunch with someone or, or whatever the case may be you will not get any alert and I wish they had the option to give you an alert um, from the dash cam view um, of an activity that happened around your car to your phone so you can actually see those clips live um, on your phone Tesla does not have that option integrated yet um, I know ring security system is actually building a platform to have those notification come to your cell phone and that's going to be released 2021 um, I've been reading up on it and it's actually exclusive to Tesla vehicles so uh, which is fantastic now that um, it gives you the ability to look at those clips while uh, you're not inside the car because right now we can only see these clips while you're inside the car um, so we've come a far away we've come from a, uh, a place where we didn't have the ability to see the clips at all we had to download the clips off the USB and then take it and look at it on a laptop or a phone um, now as of December 2020 we have the ability to look at the clips in the car using the um, the touch screen that's uh, built into the car and I think uh, 2021 I'm looking forward to um, ring te teaming up with Tesla to have that ability to um, uh, look at those clips right off your cell phone which to me is the most useful part of it because let's say uh, something happens and you're not close to your car or someone's trying to break into your car you have the ability to um, create you know like a panic song or create um, something to scare off that person that's breaking in your car while you're on your phone um, right now you don't have that ability so the car um, security system will kick in when someone's trying to break into your car but 
you're not aware of that you don't get any notification if any any of that is happening until you come and visit your car so hopefully um, we get an early release on the ring um, sentry mode um, partnership with Tesla and that way we can get that um, instantaneous notification of um, any activity around our car so that is my favorite feature um, that's added uh, the dash cam viewer and something I've always wanted to um, look for and I couldn't find when I first bought the car I found uh, I was really amazed when I discovered that for a high-end car that costs so much you don't have that um, mobile security option um, you just have a USB that you have to download the clips I found that kind of strange but um, you know slow but steady uh, progress is coming and I'm really excited for that feature that's gonna be added the other um, really interesting feature that um, Tesla released on this new software update uh, that I've been using a lot more is the ability the uh, functionality of having the camera um, accessible right here so not only is it accessible um, it actually brings up the front camera and the two side cameras and you can use this while driving so let's say if you're uh, driving and you're not um, able to um, if you, you want to see where your you know the cars are on the side of the lanes in front of you um, sorry at the back of you you can just drive and use this camera here so you don't really need the navigation and basically your navigation becomes overlay on the um, display here with a vehicle so that's pretty cool I do use it a lot especially in tight corners um, I'll be driving I'll turn this camera on so I can see all the um, camera angles um, while I'm driving now I'm slightly disappointed uh, with the V10 update that um, Tesla hasn't in included the ability to uh, see the cameras right away automatically when you change your lanes um, you know I found it kind of strange that for a pretty um, intelligent car uh, it will be useful when you change your lane that the camera will pop up and you can see uh, the camera in that lane for example you don't have to look at your blind spot the camera will detect if there's a vehicle there and you just look at the uh, main dash here to uh, figure out where the vehicle is and the speed of vehicles moving so it hopefully it comes on the v11 um, update uh, but that is something i was hoping for with the v10 update and they weren't um it wasn't released but um they built the having the camera accessible right here is pretty cool before the camera was actually part of this car here and it's still there so it's actually on both ways i wish tesla would give us the option to customize the, the toolbar i guess uh, at the bottom here right now we have to use the set toolbar i wish we had the opportunity to bring like let's say the web browser down to the toolbar the entertainment down to the toolbar but um pretty i'm um, excited that they did it they integrated the camera onto the toolbar and I'm also excited that now the wind the wiper is actually integrated directly onto the toolbar before it's actually it was included in this um, this uh, secondary uh, toolbar at top so you have you actually have more steps here you, have, you would actually have to go up um, to this toolbar to find the wipers now it's right here so that's pretty exciting um, the other feature that I uh, like about the new um, design here of the V10.2 is that Tesla did add the option of um, boombox. And I know I produced a video earlier when this was released um, of the boombox, but the boombox right here allows you to play media um, on the user.